Hi, it's Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches and happy first day of summer. Whenever there's a change of season, I always say that that one's my favorite, but I mean, I think summer really is my favorite season and it's so short, sadly, where I live. So I always try to make the most of it. And to me, making the most of summer is also all about having the most summery nails ever. So I'm very excited to be sharing with you the new summer 2022 collection from Death Valley Nails. So Death Valley Nails is a new to me brand. I'm very excited to be sharing their polishes with you today. They're absolutely beautiful and they capture summer so well. If you're not familiar with Death Valley Nails, they are a vegan, cruelty-free, and non-toxic brand. They're also 10-free. Their polishes are all handmade in small batches. I also have to hand it to Death Valley Nails for having just like the most beautiful packaging. I love the boxes that their polishes come in. Their label is super awesome. So the polishes that I'm sharing today will be launching on the Death Valley Nails website on June 24th. I will link their shop down in the description as well as the names of all the polishes. And let's get into the swatches. So I'm starting off today with the Death Valley Nails base coat. I've used it under all of my swatches in this video. It's a really nice base coat. It provides a really nice even surface for the polish to apply to and it also helps prevent staining and peeling. First up, we have Gutter Flower, and this one is a really beautiful light purple with a pink to purple to yellow multi-chrome shift, as well as a light sprinkling of hollow, and it also glows lavender with UV light. So this has a beautifully delicate finish to it. I really love how soft it is. I think the hollow is just the perfect amount and the shift is also really subtle but it definitely is there. So I applied this in two coats and I'm also using the Death Valley Nails top coat for this polish and for all of the swatches that you're seeing in the video today. So here it is in two coats plus top coat. And this is it under UV light so you can see that lavender glow. This next polish is called High Horse Mama, and this one is a Crelly, and it's described as a lollipop purple with a blue shift. So this one is just so summery to me. I absolutely love the shade of purple, and the blue shimmer in here is such a nice compliment. So this one has a really nice, easy to work with formula. I recommend applying it in as few strokes as possible and keep them straight. There was a little bit of brush stroking, but it pretty much goes away once it dries down. So here it is in two coats plus top coat, and I'll show you in a second how pretty the blue shift in this polish is. And next up we have Telen Seashells, and this is part of the Dust to Dust line of polishes from Death Valley Nails. And essentially those polishes contain elements from the earth. And this one actually contains little crushed up seashells and sand from Marco Island in Florida. So this is a really beautiful, I would describe it as a bit of a crelly base. It's a very light pink and there's also a pink shift to this polish as you'll hopefully see in a second so the little tiny pieces of seashells in here really don't add much texture after the top coat so i was pleasantly surprised by how smooth the finish was on this polish and as you can see it's just such a pretty base color and that subtle hint of shimmer is just so pretty Next up we have Summer Salt, and this one is a topper. It's described as containing three sizes of chartreuse green flakes and micro glitter. So this one has a really pretty mix of sizes and shapes of those chartreuse glitters and shards. And obviously you can go in and add as many as you want. 
or go as sparse as you want. I found it really easy to customize the topper effect with this one and I did apply it over tell and seashells. So here it is in one coat. This really pretty polish is called Sticker Burr and this one is a Crelly as well. It's described as a light stormy gray blue with a multi-chrome blue to purple shift and multi-chrome flakes. So this one has a really easy to work with formula. I applied it in just two coats. I personally really liked how delicate this is. You might want to do three if you prefer a more opaque look, but I liked how soft and pretty it looked in two and those really nice iridescent flakes that are in there are such a nice compliment. There's not a ton of them, but it's just a nice compliment to the shimmer. So here it is in two coats plus top coat, and you can see it has quite a pretty shift to it. And now we're moving into the creams. So this one is called Peach Fuzz, and it's described as a salamander orange shade. So this one has a really beautiful tone to it. It's vibrant, yet definitely sort of falling into that neon pastel category of polishes, which I think are so perfect for summertime. And it has a really good formula. So this one, I applied two coats and of course top coat, but it covered completely for me in two coats. And I really like the finish on this one. So it's almost like a salmon, but it's more vibrant than that. And this one is called Marigold. And this one is described as a sunflower yellow. So it's definitely leaning into that mustardy, almost orange category. It's got a really nice formula, just like Peach Fuzz. I only needed two coats for this one, and it covered completely for me. So this is definitely giving me sort of that 1970s kind of vibe to it. It's like a retro yellowy orange, which I always love. And it's just very vibrant and pretty for summertime. And here we have Shag. So this one is described as a tennis ball green slash yellow. And I always have this debate. I'm not really sure if a tennis ball is green or if it's yellow, but my mind always thinks they're green. So this one, I would say, leans toward yellow, but it definitely has that greeny undertone to it. So this one is quite bright. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a neon, but it's pretty close to it, and it has a really good formula for a yellow, so I only needed two coats and a top coat. So these creams all sort of dry down a little bit dull, so you definitely want a top coat to bring out the shine. And this lovely shade of orange is called Heartburn, and it's described as a highlighter orange cream. So this one has a really good formula as well. It's actually quite bright and at the final shot of this you're going to get a more accurate representation of how it looks. So here it's looking almost more of like a pastel neon but I would say it's quite close to being a true orange neon. So it's super bright and as you can see, it has a fantastic formula. It self-levels really nicely. And this is a truer representation of how bright Heartburn is. This one is called Hair of the Dog, and this one is a highlighter red cream. So this was another one that was brighter than it looks right here, but I do have a more accurate look of it at the end of my little swatch for this one. So as you can see, another fantastic formula. I really like how these creams level themselves and 
I think every single one of them was a two coater. There might have been some one coaters we're going to see later, but a fantastic formula and absolutely no complaints in terms of the polishes and their performance. So this is more close to how it looks. It's a very vibrant red. And this one is called Buzz Cut. I love the name of this one. And this one is described as a slime green. So this is definitely a neon green in the truest sense. Again, it kind of freaked out my camera a little bit. So I've tried my best to capture it accurately. But it's a little deeper than this. But it's definitely as bright as it's looking on the screen. So once again, I'm going to sound like a broken record. This has a fantastic formula. I really love working with this polish and I can definitely see myself wearing this green a lot this summer. I just love a good neon green. So here I've adjusted a bit to see how bright it really is. And this beautiful pink is called Boring. So this one is described as a highlighter pink, continuing with that highlighter color theme. And this is another beautiful cream crelly sort of hybrid i loved applying this one and as a pink lover i can tell you that this one is truly gorgeous i have had my fair share of pinks and neon pinks and this one is absolutely stunning so it's very bright i've tried to get it as accurate as possible it's definitely got a neon touch to it and as you can see it applies beautifully in two coats and the top coat just makes it super glossy and fun. Next up we have Skinny Dip and this one is described as a baby blue but this one is a very vibrant baby blue I would say and I'm also pretty sure I detected a tiny bit of shimmer in the bottle. It doesn't really show up on the nail but I think it just enhances the overall appearance of this polish when you apply it. So this one has another really good formula. As you can see, it covers completely in two coats. And if you're a fan of baby blue shades, I would say this is a really vibrant, kind of almost like a robin's egg, but not kind of neon, but not. So it's just a really unique, vibrant and bright baby blue for summer. And here we have seagrass. This one is described as an ocean green crelly. And this one is really kind of hard to capture on camera, but this is pretty accurate to how it looks. And I'm just really intrigued by the ocean green description, but um, I've never seen an ocean look like this. And I think it's really beautiful and has a fantastic formula. It's definitely a bright green. I think it's close to a Kelly green, but it does sort of have like a hint of blue to it. So this is it in two coats plus top coat. And this next one is called There's a Bluebird in My Heart. And this one is a navy blue Crelly. This one also may stain your nails so definitely use a good base coat or double up on your base coat if you're prone to staining it was super pigmented even with the base coat on me so just a fair warning for anyone who's interested in this one and as you can see because it's a crelly it has that juicy sort of squishy quality to it which i personally love and i also just love the shade of blue so while it is a navy blue it's very vibrant and bright and perfect for a summer collection so here it is in two coats plus top coat and here we have fear and loathing this one is described as a deep eggplant purple cream and that's definitely what you get i would say it leans a touch more red than what I might think of as an eggplant, but I guess eggplants kind of evolve in their color as they ripen. So this one is very beautiful. It's very vampy. And while it is a cream, it still has that 
almost verging on Corelli quality, which I love in a cream. And it covers completely in two coats. As you can see, it's very opaque. And when you put on top coat, it just makes it so glossy and shiny. And there's nothing I love more than a glossy, dark nail polish. And last but not least, we have Onyx. And we also have the white polish from Death Valley Nails, but let's talk about Onyx first. This is a fantastic one coat black. It's very much on that cream, almost crelly line. So I absolutely love the way this one applied. It dries down quite glossy on its own, as you can see, but of course I recommend a top coat. And I'm just really happy to have this in my collection, I'm always looking for a good black, and I think this one is exceptional. And here we have Marrow, which is the white polish in the collection. This is described specifically as a daisy white, which I think is a really sweet description. And to me, it's just a very bright, clean white. And it has a really good formula. So the first coat, you might think it looks a little sketchy, but trust me when I say that after the second coat, I was able to get full coverage and I just really like this white. It's not too chalky, which when it comes to whites, I am very particular about them. So it's definitely not chalky. It's easy to apply. It's very bright and it's opaque in two coats, so what more could you ask for in a white nail polish? So in terms of the standouts from that collection of polishes, I would have to say that Talon Seashells is just so special. I can't really explain it. It just feels very special to have nail polish that includes something from the earth. The fact that there's actual sand from a beach in Florida I think is so beautiful and special and it just felt very special when I was wearing it on my nails. I also really love Somersault. I think it's a beautiful topper and I can see myself using it a lot. It's just really pretty and I love the different sizes of those metallic flakes. I also really love Boring which is obviously not boring at all but it's just a gorgeous vibrant highlighter neon pink and I mean, I always love pinks and this one is a great neon. And I also really loved uh, Gutter Flower. I think that one is really beautiful. I love the violet lavender UV shift that you get under black light and it's just such a beautiful shimmery polish with that touch of hollow. So I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on Death Valley Nails. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried the brand before. Let me know if you're enticed to try some for yourself after seeing my video and Hopefully you have a fantastic summer wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye.